Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I find that some people complain. Like, you always have people complaining when you do it either way. Like, you either oh, yeah, of show too much or you show too little. Some of them are like, oh, little. this is too much, too much depth. Just show us nothing but the bullet points. Yeah. And then yeah. the other person will be like, no, I want an, I want a video essay about every single thing that you're saying. And you sort of have to find. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, you have to find the middle ground that you are happy with. Obviously, you want to make like good content, and you want to use the feedback you get as some sort of guidepost in a sensible direction. Because a lot of the time, you think you're making something good, and then you realize when someone else looks at it, there was like this glaring flaw that you had never, like, never even thought of. Uh-huh. So that feedback can be useful, but there's a lot of people out there who get a little bit too, I guess, too locked into, not locked in, too wrapped up. Yeah, wrapped up in their feedback and sort oh. of lose track of what they were trying to do. Yeah. I, most of the useful critiques that I've gotten mm. were actually, were, didn't actually have anything to do with, like, the information I yeah, yeah. Presented or like in the form, it was that it was actually like the presentation style because mm. I think uh, one of the super early critiques I got was uh, I think that was back when I was using a Vim plugin that hooked up the uh, pie wall color scheme generator uh, yeah, to yeah. Vim, and I could look at it fine, but people were watching the video like I can't fucking read this shit, so I changed the color scheme to be something readable to not me. Yeah, that was yeah. probably the, that was the pretty that was like the please change this so I can read what you're doing. Uh, but aside from that, uh, I think the only other like kind of was this isn't feedback, it was just a fucking stupid ass comment. Get rid of the beard. Is, <laughs> no, actually, most people they would probably scream if I got rid of the beard. <laughs> um, Man, I, I, like, I made a that'd be nice. Yeah, I made a blog post basically explaining how to do a air quotes join in mongodb right and when i shared it i think like the very first comment i got was you can't do a join mongodb it's not a relational database i'm like no shit that's why it's in air quotes it's not a join it's a join in the sense of it's accomplishing the same goal (laughs) yeah there's a lot of people who only see the part they want to see it's like what Air quotes? What are, what, are, what are air quotes? I've never heard of those before. No, no idea. I got the exact same thing on a video the other day. Let's see what the title was. I'll just check it now. Um, where is it? Uh, ah, right. It was um, privacy-friendly advertising featuring Meta and Mozilla, which is... I, I'm still not a big fan of that title, but... I've, it's probably the best one I had. And then I had privacy in quotes and I got a bunch of comments being like, don't put meta and privacy in the same sentence. Like, are you f- oh, bored? Bruh. Like, what do I need to do to make it very obvious that I'm, I, I'm being sarcastic here? Obviously sarcasm in text doesn't come off perfectly, but when you put those hints in there, there's only so much that you can do and then the rest of it is just like, especially when everybody else understands what you're saying. At some point, there's just a problem with the way that you read it, or you just didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, there's a good number of those, isn't there? <laughs> oh, hey, why didn't you address this point? Like, I, I, I did. I literally said that. I, I said that word for word, actually. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> part, part of me wonders. How I think it was, it's probably not a good idea because it'd probably kill engagement. Part mm. of me wonders how, how interesting an idea would be if there was an option you could like tick on on a YouTube video that says, like, you have to have watched this much of the video to comment on the fucking thing. I had that <laughs> same idea, it, it would absolutely kill engagement. I think a yeah. better way to handle it, um, because YouTube does already have this data, so you know how when you watch a video on YouTube, it tells you like how much of the video you've watched, and if you go back to the video, it jumps you back to that point. So, what you could do is, next to every commenter, have a little timestamp that says how far in the video they watched. Ah, yeah. Obviously, they could always <laughs> jump ahead in the video, but most yeah. people, that would be fairly accurate for. So, if you, if you see someone there who's left a comment and it says 30 seconds, you can disregard everything <laughs> they've said. <laughs> yeah. 
or or just milk their ass for content because you already know they're full of shit. Yeah, that's always fun. 